So look, y'all. Um, <clears throat> after the um, after the token migration, we're gonna have a lot of things. Uh, uh, say Thomas gonna have a lot of things uh, going on. A lot of things that wanna kick into uh, action. And uh, the thing is, okay. Um, the reason why we cannot see or we cannot witness a lot of things going on that are supposed to is because okay uh we are still in the uh the transitional uh phase right now okay and one of the things that i'm more excited about uh that will happen after the token my uh after the uh the the uh the token swap over after the airdrops is the burn methods okay so um, I know that the charts are not looking the way a lot of individuals want it to look now, okay? But we have to keep in mind, think about uh, the future, okay? Think about the future. Think of uh, what's to come afterwards, all right? This right now that's going on with the uh, the transition is just temporary. So just think of what's to come uh, a little bit uh, afterwards, such as the burn. Now, when the burn happens, all right despite what you're saying with the uh the price now okay that the price is going to go up okay you're going to get a lot of burn mechanisms that's going to start um you know falling in place and running okay and uh not only that you're also going to have uh things that's going to contribute to the burn such as like uh staking and stuff like that staking is going to launch uh with uh, say the pro okay because a lot of individuals want to know is that going to launch It's going to launch okay uh, with say the pro okay so um, you just have to be patient and know that there are a lot of catalysts lined up okay a lot of catalysts lined up and like I said in one of my past videos there are going to be a lot of individuals that are not going to be able to uh, experience that all right they're not going to be able to experience but don't be that individual okay now uh, the thing is this you want to do the proper uh, research, okay? You want to do the proper research, all right? <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to yawn. You want to do the proper research, okay? So you know what you need to know. Um, and the proper research involves, okay, uh, not following the food. You do not want to follow the food, okay? What you want to do is you want to uh, follow the... Uh, you want to follow the developers try to follow the, the developers as many developers as you can Okay, um, follow the positivity like I said if look whatever you want to know you got to surround yourself with it You got to surround yourself with it. All right follow the, the developers that can tell you what you need to know How will you keep uh, contact with them? All right, you will keep contact by going to uh, say the um SaitamaToken.com, okay, going on their website, if you scroll all the way down, you will see all of their social media, okay? And when you follow their social media, you can keep tabs. Um, you can keep tabs uh, like on uh, Twitter, okay? So on Twitter, you get all of the updates. See, this is where I get all of the updates right here, all right? So this is Twitter right here. So, and remember, y'all, I know that there are some individuals right who already know about this but what you have to understand is that there are individuals right who do not know about this they're new investors coming in every day they don't even have anybody to tell them the basic stuff like this okay so despite uh, the majority of us here knowing this there are some new uh, investors here that will see this video this video will find them and they will be properly prepared before it's too late and like I said that does not have to just be for uh, say Tom it could be for any investment always follow the Twitters okay because as you can see on the Twitters they have all kinds of uh, announcements right here okay and when you know what you need to know then you'll be properly prepared all right so this is their um, this is the uh, Twitter but I, I was looking at this right here and this right here like I said it says additional tokens will be burned uh, after all centralized exchanges and holders receive their current amount of tokens, including those who already asked for support through the form. All right. So, like I said, also um, in uh, past videos, if you have not, uh, uh, if you have like a complaint, and most of the individuals, I think most of the individuals, uh, or some individuals who have uh, filed a complaint through the form, um, some of them probably did receive are their uh, v2 tokens because remember uh we we did um airdrop 
11 close to 11,000 in in the last uh, 24 hours so in the last 24 hours you know I'm guessing that some individuals who filled out that form okay they did get their airdrops okay they got their airdrops and they're happy so um, just know that the development team is trying the best they can um, to uh, to to uh, get through a lot of the uh, the issues out there that involves the um, the investors out there and like I said I think last time Russ had updated I think he said it was somewhere near uh, close to uh, 30 3500 uh, applications or something like that or not application but 35 um, uh, complaints that came in through the forms uh, that all of them had to go through but I think when it comes to doing stuff like that they may be uh, having the 300 man uh, and woman team uh, looking through a lot of that stuff I'm pretty sure they're not just doing all of it themselves because that right there would actually be uh, pretty much uh, strenuous and you know uh, it, it would kind of be like a hold back so this is why they also uh, this is why they also hired that uh, that big team okay to get uh, n not only the big stuff done but get some of the smaller things uh, done also I mean the thing is this if you want to grow as a company you have to expand okay you have to expand uh, the army uh, you have to expand your uh, employees okay uh, so if we have multiple things going on within the uh, the project in multiple areas then you can send uh, you can have uh, uh, multiple individuals working on each of those um, scenarios and each of those uh, problems right there okay and then you will notice okay and this is for anyone who is running a business you notice if you have multiple problems okay you and you can hire individuals to take care of certain problems you notice that things will get done quicker you notice that things will get uh, done um, you notice that things will start moving for you and I think that's also what we're seeing uh, with the airdrop situation because like I said the uh, our a average airdrops uh, recently was around uh, I think it was around yeah three thousand and thirty five hundred uh, average that they were airdropping every single day but um yesterday in the last 24 hours we had and uh we had a big airdrop uh which uh e close to 11,000 people or a little bit over 11,000 people uh got airdrops okay so that tells me right there that that big team that 300 man team and woman team they you see how that's paying off it's paying off all right it's paying off and that's a uh, that's a good thing we're noticing that things are starting to get uh, done so that way uh, we can get the airdrops uh, uh, done quick and then we can move on for, to things like uh, this burn right here okay so um, you know uh, I wanted to uh, make this uh, this video and give you all a big picture okay of what's going on out there all right uh, things are looking positive okay and um, yeah remember y'all always remember like i said what's my saying every now will be history tomorrow and you either have patience in this crypto investing space or lose in the end and you do not want to be a loser so this is my video and i will catch y'all on the up and up Out.